Hello my darlings and welcome back to another video. This microscopic part of the internet is all about plus size fashion, body positivity, and a little lifestyle sprinkled out here and there. If that sounds good to you, I would be grateful if you would subscribe. And today we are going to be doing a Forever 21 Plus haul. Um, this was all purchased in store, so it's very dependent, you know, on whatever store that I was at. Yours might look different. Online will be very different. So far I've had pretty good experiences with Forever 21 Plus and I found many good things. Spent a lot more money. It was a lot more expensive than H&M, which was surprising. I've always thought of Forever 21 as like a, a cheaper type of place. Obviously, plus size section is gonna be different. Fat tax, am I right? So a bit more spendy, but there was a lot more options, a lot more options, which is what you have when you have a plus size dedicated section. It is literally shoved into the back of the store. It has this much of the things that they sell throughout the rest of the store, but such is life. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the haul. Okay, so we're starting out with one of my excited items. It is coming up to summertime and shorts are something that I have in a very low supply. I have a lot of bike shorts, which I love and I wear daily, but I also want, you know, some jean options. They've been so hard to find. Generally, I find men's pants and then I cut them into shorts because that's the only thing that I like. But, you know, I want something that is made for a curvy body. Men's jeans are not. I grabbed these beautiful Ron Bass 1984 jean shorts because it is Black History Month. They were doing this really great like black artists line at Forever 21 and I was like, yes. I got some of their jean shorts and I was really excited about them because I think they're not only super cute, but support black creators, you know what I mean? So these guys were $29.99 and I got them in a size 18 because I held them up to me and I was like, that might work. I don't know what I was thinking. Why did I do 18? That was so stupid. Oh, I hope they fit. <laughs> they have these patches. I really love the one in the pocket. It's like little flowers, brown smiley face. Really hoping they work. Okay, so here are the blue denim shorts and they fit really nicely. The waist is definitely I do want to do a sit down test. I'll do that in a minute. I might just put it here. <laughs> um, but it's like a good amount of room. I think I'm just so used to things being really big on me. My comfort level is just way off. <laughs> as tight as the waist is, the legs have a lot of room in them and they're really comfortable. I will definitely be keeping these. Sticking with the shorts theme, um, I got these elasticated jean shorts um they are in a size 20 and they were also 29.99 like 30 bucks for jean shorts okay anyway 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 i like that it has a drawstring it's operational it has pockets they're like jeans but comfy jeans and i figured we have a blue pair and a black pair and that would probably suit me for the summer because summertime is from the months of march through december we'll try these on it'll be interesting to see how the 20 and the 18 fit differently. All right, here are the black shorts in a size 20. I would say I'm definitely an 18. These are pretty big, but I'm also kind of like, I don't know if they shrink in the wash or whatever, and I want something that's not bike shorts, that are jean shorts, but also super comfy. This would be a good option. And um, it does have an operational drawstring, so I can make them tighter in the waist. I think I'll keep them. They're really comfortable. I did a sit test and they are very, very comfortable to sit in. Um, the last ones were fine. Um, I doubt I could sit in them for a very long period of time, but like going out for a meal or whatever would probably be fine. These are definitely the better, like more comfort pants, but they're not as cute, so there's gotta be a payoff. You can kind of see how they're pretty baggy. Do a little spin. We'll keep them. So we're feeling a bit spicy. Who is she? I got this silky kind of 70s vibe mock tie top. I didn't check, I should check. I don't know if it actually ties in the back or if, no, it, it actually ties in the back, which I'm kind of glad about, less secure, but it means that I can kind of tighten it to my liking. Um, I got it in a 3X and it was $17.99. I think some things were like 30% off, but um, I thought this would be good for my vacation to Florida and just general life here. Like cute over a bathing suit or whatever. Let's try her on. Okay, so this is the 
handkerchief top, a uh, wrap top, and it's cute. I don't know what kind of bra I would wear with this. I probably would need something, but you know, spaghetti straps are tough. I don't know. But they are very, it is very cute. Um, it's very soft. I like that I'm able to tie it as tight as I want, and I like how it has this little handkerchief little point. I think it's cute. I just need to figure out what to wear underneath this. So along with the shorts, I got this tote bag because I love the message. Really gorgeous tote. Haran Bass. Um, and it was uh, $9.99. She's cute. She supports a good cause. Love it. How pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So on this particular day, I was feeling my Valentine's Day best self and I just wanted pink and red. That's all I wanted. And I could not find it anywhere, but I did get this guy. It is a cherry sheer pink top with little red cherries on it. And I thought it was really cute. Airy static -y, which will be fun in Arizona. Wear just like a black bra or bandeau underneath and some jeans, she'd be cute. So uh, I got this, it's a pretty like thick mesh material. Uh, I got it in a 1X and it was $22.99. Mm! So like, do you see this? I can move it with, I'm like Magneto. I'm magic. I'm having way, way too much fun. Um, <laughs> here is the cherry top. I'm just wearing bike shorts and a black bralette. It is not, it is not happening for me. <laughs> Uh, it is so uncomfortable, it's itchy, it's tight, and it's not like a comfortable mesh. I mean, I probably need to size up one if not two sizes on this. I'm just, it's very loud. Nah, not a fan. Here's the close-up, if you want to see more. It's not it. It's not or not. Get it off me! And the final item, we have this kind of baby blue, it gives me Cinderella vibes. Cowl neck, there's a cowl neck on the top. Not bodycon, but uh, what am I trying to say? Slip dress, kind of a slip dress, but it's much, it's not silky, I don't know. I thought it would be cute over a t-shirt or something like that. Uh, and it was $29.99. Wearing more figure hugging clothing, has always been really scary for me, especially now that I'm at the biggest I've ever been. I'm trying to like, you know, be braver with my fashion, 2022 goals. So I thought I would give this a try. It's a 2X. <laughs> I'm not scared, it'll be fine, everything's fine. We'll see how it looks. Here is the bodycon blue dress, slip dress, not a slip dress. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. For one, I don't know when I would wear this. <laughs> it's definitely not a beach wear, <laughs> it is, Pretty thick material. It's very stretchy. It's very tight. I'm just not loving it. I'm still working on accepting all of this. I'm just like not in love with the way I feel when I wear it. So it'll probably be returned. But the color's cute. I like the color a lot. So maybe looking for more of this color, but in a different style. All right, that was everything that I got from Forever 21. Enjoyed. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I have all my socials over here. Do a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know where you want me to try out next. And I'll see you next week. Love you, bye.